हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस मैग्नेटाइजेशन सो हियर मैग्नेटिक फिनोमिना कम इनटू पिक्चर when uh, electric uh, charges are in motion suppose uh, we have a small piece of uh, magnetic uh, material and uh, when we deal this small piece of material on uh, atomic scale then uh, we observe a small current one due to electrons uh, orbiting around nuclei and uh, second uh, electrons uh, spinning about their axis that is the small current uh, in the atomic scale arises due to electrons orbiting around nuclei and electrons spinning about their axis now here uh, for uh, macroscopic purpose these uh, current loops uh, we can treat these current loop as a magnetic uh, dipoles okay now here uh, if we have a piece of uh, magnetic uh, material then uh, these dipoles uh, are uh, randomly oriented that is when b is equals to 0 that is magnetic field is equals to 0 then here uh, net uh, magnetization is uh, equals to 0 so in the absence of magnetic field net magnetization is equals to 0 but uh, when the we apply the magnetic field that is here magnetic field is not equals to 0 then the dipoles magnetic dipoles try to orient in the presence of uh, magnetic field or it depend upon the strength of uh, magnetic field so here this uh, net magnetization is uh, not equals to 0 now next uh, important point here is uh, the direction of the magnetic dipoles now here that is uh, direction of uh, magnetic dipoles in the presence of uh, magnetic field so here when uh, magnetic dipoles or uh, magnetization is uh, parallel to the magnetic field when it is parallel to the magnetic field that is the direction of the magnetic dipoles they are orient in the same direction as that of magnetic field then we have a paramagnetic uh, 
materials and uh, when the magnetization or uh, magnetic dipoles they are orient in not in the same direction then we have diamagnetic uh, materials that is the direction of the dipoles it depends upon the nature of uh, material so when magnetization or magnetic dipoles they are in the same direction then we have a paramagnetic materials and when they are in the opposite direction then we have a diamagnetic materials now here when we remove the magnetic field then uh, uh, again the dipoles will orient randomly but we have uh, certain materials uh, like uh, ferromagnetic materials where uh, when we remove the uh, magnetic field even then we have a magnetization so here uh, it uh, it mean magnetization not only depend upon the presence of magnetic field even it also depend upon the history or uh, nature of the material so magnetization not only depends upon the magnetic field or strength of magnetic field but it also depends upon the nature of the material so if we have ferromagnetic material even in the absence of magnetic field we have small amount of uh, magnetization okay now in continuation of this uh, we will discuss uh, torque on torque and force on magnetic dipoles okay so torque and uh, force uh, on magnetic uh, dipoles now here uh, suppose we have a this is a magnetic uh, material and uh, suppose these are the rectangular loops and here suppose this is the direction of current then uh, here in the loop here downward direction is downward upward downward upward downward upward downward upward downward and so on okay now here uh, suppose uh, we consider this is the case in the absence of a magnetic field this is a rectangular loop now here suppose we apply the magnetic field and we want to see the uh, this uh, rectangular loop this only this first one only then here so suppose this is a uh, y this is a uh, z and this is a uh, x here now here uh, this is a rectangular loop that is when we apply the magnetic field on this uh, first rectangular loop then it will rotate like this and suppose uh, here this is a magnetic moment uh, m and suppose this angle is uh, theta now here uh, suppose this is the width of this rectangular loop and uh, this is the length of uh, this rectangular loop a okay and current uh, direction is uh, i 
now here in the presence of uh, magnetic field the force uh, on the two sloping sides cancel out okay and uh, as a result uh, what we get uh, we get a structure like this that is uh, here this is a y this is a z axis and here this is a x axis and uh, in place of, I, I will put the same point so due to the uh, force this uh, sloping uh, uh, portion will not contribute that is uh, when we apply the force then sloping sides will cancel out that is they stretch the loop and they don't rotate it so here in place of this uh, we get a straight line so in the case of a in place of a rectangular loop we have only a straight line and uh, here uh, this is a is the length of uh, this this is a and uh, here uh, this is a magnetic dipole moment m and this angle is uh, theta so here uh, this angle is also theta okay so here we have in the presence of magnetic field we have the this is a direction of the force on this side and uh, similarly on this side okay then uh, here uh, finally the torque uh, which is responsible to rotate the rectangular loop mathematically this is equals to a f uh, sin theta x cap but here uh, this force uh, this is equals to i b or uh, b so i here is a current b is a width of the triangular loop and capital b is the magnetic field so uh, finally n is equals to a i b b sin theta x cap okay or uh, this uh, i a b this is equals to m so m b sin theta x cap because here uh, a i b is equals to m m is the magnetic uh, dipole moment so here uh, m is the magnetic dipole moment okay so this is the expression for uh, torque now here what about force now here uh, in uh, uniform magnetic field the force uh, is equal to i line integral of uh, di cross uh, b so here this is equals to i di and cross b so but here the closed line integral is equals to 0 so net force is equals to 0 so in case of a uh, uniform magnetic field net force is equals to 0 now here next point here this is the in case of uniform magnetic field okay now in case of a non uniform magnetic field
Now here, suppose we have a long cylinder and uh, suppose the radius a, and uh, we have a long wire, circular wire or we can say of uh, radius uh, r and uh, it means this is a magnetic field here and this is the flow of current. Then the equivalent uh, diagram suppose uh, we have this. that is uh, uh, this is the radius of the coil and here the direction of magnetic field upward then force is downward and this angle is uh, theta and uh, symmetrically this here we have force F and uh, magnetic field B and suppose the current flowing through this is uh, I. Then in case of a non-uniform magnetic field F equals to 2 pi I R B cos theta. Okay. So this is the case uh, in this particular case this force is equals to 2 pi I R B cos theta and uh, for an uh, infinitesimal loop the force is equals to del m dot b that is gradient of product of magnetic dipole moment and magnetic field. So till now we discussed the torque and force on the magnetic field. So here in continuation of this uh, next uh, we will discuss uh, effect of uh, a magnetic field uh, on atomic scale on atomic orbits ok so now here we are interested to see the effect of uh, magnetic field on atomic orbits now here uh, suppose uh, this is a atom and here suppose the electrons is revolving around this and suppose the radius of this is uh, capital R and uh, magnetic field is upward direction Z and uh, here magnetic dipole moment is M downward and suppose uh, the electrons moving with velocity V. Now here uh, for uh, steady current uh, this I that is current is equals to E by T. So here T is the time period so time T is equals to 2 pi R over V. So we can write I equals to E over 2 pi R over V and finally we can write E V over 2 pi r. So this is the current here. Now here the orbital dipole moment is m equals to i pi r square. So this is the case for orbital dipole moment is this. So now substitute the value of i in this equation. So we get uh, i here is equals to E v over uh, 2 
pi r and this is a pi r square with the negative sign so magnetic dipole moment this is equals to minus this pi is cancel with this r is cancel with this so we get 1 over 2 e v r because it's vector quantity so we can write that gap here so this is the magnetic uh, dipole moment here negative sign uh, introduced due to the charge of the electron now here then next point here is uh, that is torque so torque uh, is equals to m cross uh, b but it is very difficult uh, to rotate the whole orbit okay but on the other hand when we apply the magnetic field then it may speed up the electron or may speed down the electron depending upon the orientation of a magnetic field now here in case of uh, atom suppose uh, this uh, electric force uh, is equals to centripetal force okay that is electric force uh, equals to centripetal force so electric force here is equals to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught e square over r square and this is equals to m e v square over r so here this is the case uh, when the magnetic field is equals to zero so when we apply the magnetic field then we can write 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught e square over r square plus uh, e v bar b and this is equals to m e v square over r so this is the case when magnetic field is not equals to zero so it means when we apply the magnetic field then this term introduced here okay so here initially uh, the velocity is uh, v and then it is changed from um, uh, v to v bar okay so net change in velocity we can write uh, like this that is uh, e v bar b equals to m e over r here v bar square minus v square or we can write m e r this is a v bar plus v and v bar minus v okay so that is here e v bar is equals to m e over r v bar plus v and v bar minus v now here suppose uh, this v is approaches to v bar is approaches to v then we can write m e over r here we have 2 a uh, v bar and uh, this v bar this is equals to we can write change in velocity okay so here change in velocity this is equals to e v bar b into r over m e 2 v bar so v bar is cancel with this so we can get e r b over 2 m e so this is a change in velocity okay change in velocity of electron so finally the magnet change in magnetic dipole moment this is equals to so here we can write a uh, change the formula minus 1 by 2 e in place of a v we can write delta v r z cap or we can write this is equals to minus 1 by 2 e 
delta v here we have e r b over 2 m e r and z cap okay or this is equals to minus uh, e square r square over 4 m e or b vector so this is the change in uh, magnetic uh, dipole moment okay so here the direction of uh, this negative sign shows that the magnetic uh, dipole moment is in opposite direction to that of uh, magnetic field basically uh, this is the mechanism responsible for the diamagnetism okay so till now we discussed the effect of magnetic field on the dipoles and then the effect of magnetic field on the atomic orbits so finally we will summarize uh, this first point here is as we discussed if we have a diamagnetic material then the magnetization and uh, the magnetic field they are parallel that is magnetization are the same direction as that of the magnetic field and in case of uh, paramagnetic I am sorry in case of diamagnetic they are opposite and in case of a paramagnetic materials magnetization and uh, magnetic field they are in the same directions that is here we have a positive sign between magnetization and magnetic field in case of a paramagnetic materials and in case of a diamagnetic material because they are in the opposite direction that is magnetization are in the opposite direction to that of the magnetic field so they have a, a anti parallel a, so they have a negative a values so finally the mathematically we can write uh, magnetization is uh, equals to magnetic uh, dipole moment uh, per unit uh, volume per unit volume volume okay Okay, thank you.